Cassie just told her side of the story when it comes to P. Diddy. Stay tuned. Cassie is finally speaking out following her allegations against Sean Diddy Combs. After a video of the rapper being truly heinous to Cassie Ventura in a hotel in 2016 was recently leaked, Sean Diddy Combs' ex-girlfriend made an emotional statement thanking everyone who came out to offer their love and support. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now, but this is only the beginning. The singer wrote in a post on Instagram, DV is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. CNN released a video of Ventura kicking and throwing the woman to the ground, prompting him to make the comment. After that, Diddy apologized, calling his behavior in the video inexcusable and expressing his disgust at what he had done. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. The incident seemed to support allegations of violence violence made by Ventura in a lawsuit that was settled last year, allegations that Diddy had previously refuted. Ventura expressed her gratitude to everyone who took the time to take this matter seriously in a message. My only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. It takes a lot of heart to tell the truth out of a situation that you were powerless in. She also gave others words of encouragement. I offer my hand to those that are still living in fear, Ventura wrote. Reach out to your people. Don't cut them off. Off. No one should carry this weight alone. This healing journey is never ending, but this support means everything to me. Thank you, love always, Cassie. I think everybody's entitled to, you know, having that moment, I guess. Ventura started dating personal trainer Alex Fine in 2018, the year her relationship with Diddy ended. The two were married in 2019. In response to her statement, Fine commented, love you so much, and said, she is a perfect example for our daughters. More claims of SA, harassment, and other misdeeds against Diddy surfaced after Ventura filed her case. Late last year, three more women accused him of SH. You know, it was it was a big problem. In February, producer Rodney Lilrod Jones filed a second lawsuit, alleging Diddy had harassed and groped him for a full year. Model Crystal McKinney recently filed a second lawsuit against Diddy, alleging that in 2003, he had given her an induced influence and took her. In addition, a federal inquiry on him is purportedly partially concerned with HT. Diddy's attempt at atonement has been questioned by Ventura's legal team ever since he aired his apologetic video over the videotape of the hotel incident. Meredith Firetog, Ventura's lawyer, stated in a statement that Combs' most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. She added that Diddy was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false, shows his pathetic desperation, and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. And most recently, rapper 50 Cent has already sold Netflix a documentary in which he charges rival Sean Diddy Combs of multiple SAs. The musician, whose real name is Curtis Jackson, began endorsing the show following Combs' accusation of A and SA by his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. Recently, marked 50 Cent's confirmation that he had successfully negotiated a massive bidding war with other networks to sell the series to the big streaming service. Netflix wins the bidding war, but if more victims keep coming out, I'm gonna need more episodes, the rapper said in an Instagram post. Produced by 50 Cent's G-Unit Film and Television Studios, the series is expected to center on accusations made by singer Ventura and several other women. Combs has refuted every accusation leveled against him. When video of Combs, better known by his stage P. Diddy of him dragging, punching, and kicking Ventura in a hotel hallway as she attempted to depart with two bags surfaced in 2016, Combs issued an apology. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below, and we hope you guys have a good one. Peace.